No, no, Abby. No, I'm not ignoring the news. I swear to you, I'm not. I just fell behind. I was at like two comic conventions. I have a third one coming up. No, I'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk about Venom. I know it needs more Venom, Abby. God damn it. Venom box office. Reportedly, originally, a couple weeks ago, I told you guys, I talked to some analysts, 30 to 50 million. Wasn't looking too good for the opening weekend. Well now, the numbers have gone up. And they're big. They're big. The numbers are big. How big? Well, 50 on the low end, 85 million is being reported. So somewhere in there, but realistically they're saying it could open with 85 million. So that's interesting. A couple of weeks and the tracking has gone up. Now, what's helped us is probably the last trailer that came out. And of course, I think just people having more awareness about the character. Now, people still aren't dismissing the original numbers, but the fact of the matter stands is that Venom is tracking way higher than anybody thought. And it's actually tracking to be a record-breaking October movie, which could be pretty huge. But then again, when you think about October, it's one of those things that was considered a dump month. Uh, you know, it wasn't too long ago that November and December were dump months. September is still a dump month, and then you had like January, February, March used to be dump months. But Deadpool and Black Panther changed that. So the industry is changing, and October looks like if Venom does this, it's gonna become a blockbuster month. And honestly, I'm hopeful that Venom is a good movie, but I just don't know what the tracking is gonna be on it because it seems to be all over the place. And you know, you can always look at Twitter, right? But that's, as I always say, that's a bubble. You look at one fan base and they're like, everybody agrees that Batman v Superman is the greatest movie of all time. And it's their circle, right? It's their bubble that agrees with them. So do you gauge everybody with a bubble of fans? Of course not. So what the general audience thinks, we still don't know. We're gonna know in a few weeks, but it's gonna be interesting because how are they gonna position Venom without Spider-Man? I think that's the big deciding factor. And the reviews are certainly gonna be an indicator of if the movie succeeds or not. Now, the box office is one thing. Predictions are one thing. But getting down to the actual core numbers and try to talk about everything, whether it's a success or failure after the movie is out, is what it's really about. Because sure, it can open with 85 million, but what if it suffers like a 70% drop the next weekend? You know, that's a completely different story. Damn it, Abby.